Thank you, Mr. Chair, uh, Speaker. Uh, thank you, Sponsor. Appreciate my previous colleagues' sentiments about this and, and, and the targeting. You know, often, though we disagree with legislation, we try to find the true intent and perhaps the love in a piece of legislation, but I don't see any love in this legislation. I see hate. And so, uh, in addition to that, my concern with this is the breadth of the language, Mr. Sponsor. And the breadth of this language takes direct aim at the local economy of my city. It takes direct aim at the entertainers within my city. It takes direct aim with the small businesses in my community. And so the language of this bill, now I don't know if you've ever attended a Beyonce concert. Something tells me you haven't. Or a Harry Styles concert or a Lizzo concert or a Madonna concert, your language prohibiting and the breadth, the vagueness in this bill would prohibit those entertainers from performing in my city. It would prohibit Beyonce, the Queen Bee herself, who is coming to Nashville this year. This bill would allow me as a district attorney, by the plain language of this bill, to arrest Beyonce. Is that your intended goal here? Chairman Todd. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is so interesting to me to hear the opposition to this very simple common sense bill. Most of you in this room know exactly what this does. You know it's common sense. Anyone that would stand against a bill that is going to prevent minors, children, from seeing obscene sexual activity, I, I don't know how you claim to be representing anyone. This is common sense. This is protecting children, first and foremost. We can, folks have made up things about this. They've dreamed up things about this. We've got you know, media weighing in on it from all over the world without reading it, without really looking at what it means. It does exactly what I said it does, very plain and simple, and I would think an attorney, of all people, would be able to read this and certainly understand how simple it is. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Clemens. Out of order. Representative Clemens. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, it's interesting. We can find common ground here. Nobody wants a, a, a minor in an establishment with a stripper. There are laws prohibiting that. But your language here, as a lawyer that features any entertainment that features a topless dancer, you could have male topless dancers. I mean, I guess we're not going to swimming pools anymore if males aren't allowed to take their shirts off. So you got male topless dancers performing in a public venue and that may or may not have actual or simulated sexual activities or including the removal of articles of clothing such as a t-shirt. I mean, you, you could have a child. I don't know if you've been to a sand amphitheater. You can watch performances from the street without entering that venue. So you could have a 16-year-old walking up the street looking in a concert at Beyonce, Harry Styles, Lizzo, any, any, most any entertainer, and then you're going to allow a district attorney to go down there and arrest that entertainer, you are taking direct aim at Music City USA just because you subjectively may not agree with it. Now, we talk a lot of, in this body about protecting constitutional amendments. So if you want to have the plain language of the Second Amendment protected, then you better want to have the plain language of the First Amendment protected. Because you can have constitutionally recognized exceptions, but you cannot exclude individual classes of people because you subjectively disagree with them or hate them. That is unconstitutional. Your language is vague, and it's overly broad. This will not stand up in court. You have wasted all of our time here today by promoting this legislation. I would ask that you at least make the effort as an attorney to clean this up, to bring it within constitutional muster so you're not attacking my local economy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
Chairman Todd, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think the language is extremely clear. We've had multiple attorneys look over this. They think it's extremely solid. I'm very confident, very confident, our Attorney General can stand behind this and defend this without question.